Okay, so um, having looked at time tracking, I want to just look at cost tracking for jobs and also time, um, uh, job statuses. So um, cost tracking is only really used for small purchases, little reimbursables, things like that, Not nothing purchase order related. So on the mobile one, um, we've got uh, enter a cost, we've got enter a time, uh, we've looked at time and everything before, so if we go enter cost, then it will basically give us uh, an option to search for a job. So we'll go and look for a particular job in our demo system here. And then uh, type a description in. So if you type something that's in the system, it will search. Um, otherwise, we'll just put in, so this is going to be, uh, we just did parking or something really simple. Um, of course, the old, so most of it's only one, but it's got multiple things, then you can put them in. Um, the cost of the uh, item, so if you're putting 10 of something in, this is the cost per unit. Um, otherwise, we just put the straight cost in, so this was $5. Um, a supplier, if you wish to enter one, if they're in the system. Uh, a product code, if there is one. Um, and any notes, if you need them. So we'll go parking for meeting Collingwood. Um, hit save. And that will add that cost to the job. Now, there's no sell rate or anything here because that's decided by admin um, at the invoicing stage, but it is at least showing you here um, the cost, the unit, and the information as well. So that's as simple as it is to add cost to jobs. Um, the other area to look at with jobs is if I go into here, um, I've got full settings so I can see both my jobs and also all jobs. Um, I'll go into my jobs here and look for a particular one. So I can see all the information of what's happening with it, the state, um, custom fields, schedule information and tasks. Um, if I go into options, I can enter a cost straight from here as well, um, or I can enter a note. So that's one other way of doing the cost entry we looked at before. Um, or I can edit the job and here, so let's say this job now I'm on site and uh, done my parking and now it's all finished. I can move it to completed, hit save, and then that will get the notification back to admin to let them know that job's ready to invoice.